don't look forward to this. It'll be fine. All right, we're at the uh, end of our trail. This is where we're going to end here. So we're just picking up Brendan. We're going to jump in the truck. So this is Owen Creek. Um, the tr hike we're doing this weekend is we're going up uh, via Nigel Pass. We're going to go up to Nigel Pass and over Cataract, stay at Cataract tonight, go to uh, Pinto tomorrow night, and then hike up to Michelle Lake, which is just over here, do a little bit of fishing, and then come out. So it's about a 55-kilometer hike. The four amigos, we're off. This is the Nigel Pass trailhead. Three deer wondering what to do about the river. There they go. Hey! See how fast they run? Those are white tails. White tails never hang around, unlike the muleys. See that big boulder there? That's a classic erratic. So when I talk about the big rock near Okotoks that was carried 600 kilometers, it came from an area like this and it's a boulder just like that that weighs 16,500 tons. 16,000 tons carried by a glacier 600 kilometers from here. Yeah, think about that folks. That's the Columbia Ice Field over there. And that's the Snow Dome it's called, which is a triple divide. And this here is Nigel Pass proper. So creeks going down that way and now there's creeks going down that way and we're gonna intersect Boulder Creek. So we're heading to Cataract Pass and I just want to mention that I've been here before in this environment the the scenery changes not a little bit but dramatically about every 500 yards so I'll try and capture it for you guys because it is absolutely stunning. What do you think, bud? Incredible. Yeah? Everywhere you look, I mean. Like, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> so now you see the pass perfectly. Look at the contrast. Like. This rock is totally out of place.
look at this. Impressive. I don't even know how to explain these formations. This is this is the planet just before Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the slab. The layer, you know, the sedimentation, it just broke down, slid down here, went all the way across, all over the place. You want to explain the rest? What happened here? Oh, I feel it's just silt that's come down and filled the valley. Yeah. And then slowly over time, it's turned into a meadow. What did we decide? 70,000 years we're going to meet back here when the meadow's, you know, 30 feet taller? Okay. That's all it'll be, 30 that's feet. It. Let's go stop at the marker. Hey Sage, if you watch any of these videos, this one's for you. We thought about you today while we're hiking over Cataract Pass. Last time we were here, you were munching on your uh, meager supplies of cheese. I always tell the story about Saskatchewan Crossing and how poorly they treat through hikers and have poor supplies. So anyways, uh, Good on you for doing this hike and uh, hope you're doing well wherever you are and not too affected by COVID. Bamp, Klein, Job, Wilderness. White Ghost Wilderness, Cataract Pass Logbook. Marty up north was here for a few minutes. <laughs> oh look, Sage passing through less than two weeks to Robson too soon. Hey Evan, if you watch some of these videos, you were here last year. Uh, Shit Wild was here August August 14th, right there. Evan Kensington, aka Shit Wild, GDT northbound last night at Pinto tonight. Worth every step. Good on you, man, for completing the GDT. I only met one uh, through hiker so far this year. <laughs> By far, one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Really? That Hang around a... with us a little bit longer. We'll that fix that. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Oh, super. Not a very good place to be and I don't like this side hilling. If somebody goes down, you're gonna have a hard time stopping.
just to put it into perspective. One crossing before the, that's Brandon taking his time. That's okay, it's his first time out here. Our little village is set up. Brendan's tent, Christian's tent, Evan, guy we met on the trail, Doug, Gord, sorry, my tent. No fire tonight, so Evan's cooking the old fashioned way with hydrocarbons. <laughs> Martin's favorite. Yeah. Gallop down. Big camera. Not. And then last one, of course. Let's put some mirage on there. A risotto, a nice scallop wrapped in bacon, and a lobster nage. Just because we're out here doesn't roughing it doesn't mean we can't be civilized. Look at this. It's amazing. I've never had a scallop like this ever. The only time I've ever had scallops is in a clam chowder or something. Oh my god, it's as good as they make it appear on TV. Better. Yes. This oh wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh. That was a good call putting that bacon fat in there. Was all over the oh yeah, you can't waste bacon fat. No. Evan, holy. Evan's eating on the most amazing plate ever. Marty made, made it for me. Yeah, I made it. Mother yeah. Nature made that plate. It only took about a, well, it's a million dollar plate. So obviously it's a million dollar dish. Two people coming down at uh, 9.30. Yep. Paralyzing is what it is. Oh. How's that for first thing in the morning? It wakes you up, tell you that much. Your feet get cramped near the end, yeah, eh? Man, I was like, come on, keep moving, Martin. Keep, keep moving, yeah. <laughs> Rain. where we camped. That's a whole new level of freaking awesome. Wow. That's pretty. Out. I think so. There's no other way. Can't 
keep going. This is where Maddie and I stayed last year. Actually, we came down quite a ways. hour of the trail has been like this hard to gain momentum because there's deadfall everywhere everywhere Everybody got a good break? Grab some lunch? Yeah, ready to roll. Sure. about these pictograms a long long time ago and I came here two years or last year and I didn't find them so finally I found them cool all right so these are genuine I pretty sure oh I was not looking forward to this crossing it's faster than last year.
feels awesome on the legs. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Good job, man. Today's been a very long day. It's the heat that makes it hard. And the trail is so overgrown that we were having a hard time gaining any momentum. It's 420 and we're just still a good kilometer away from camp, but we had a 16 kilometer day. We've been gone for eight hours, so we're averaging less than two kilometers per hour, which is brutal, which is slower than yesterday. I said there's gonna be a Coke can in there and it's still there. Maddie, your sticker's still there. I was here last year on July 22nd and Sage was right behind us. Nearly forgetting that he is a stuttering creature and not just a single heart being flung into brightness into the intimate skies. Railkey. Is that from uh, Letters to a Young Poet? I think that's what that's from. Cool. I am going for a well earned swim in the lake. It's gonna be cold. It's always cold. skewer two on there. Marty, you cannot eat these skewers. You can try. The reason Evan said that is because I'm the guy who eats everything that's on my plate. Get on the plate and uh... keep them for the other guys, man. Take one piece off of there. Right? So we met Gord last night. We were climbing up Cataract Pass. And Marty points out this Shadow. movement. Yeah. And he's like, I think that's somebody coming up. I'm like, no way, it's moving too fast. He's like, no, that's somebody. <laughs> he's like, it's moving fast. And Gord proved his character is such a gentleman. He waited until Brennan summited before he came up and summited, which was super amazing. So thank you for that. Uh, uh, Brendan, you haven't said anything yet, bud. You need to. How was the day, <laughs> bud? It was good. It was a long one. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday you said was one of the hardest days of your young life. And did we surpass it with this one today? Today was doubly, double as hard as yesterday. We're going to give you the trifecta. Yeah, when, you're, when you're done this trip, you're going to have number one, two, and three hardest days of your yeah, life. Yeah. yeah. Maybe now, even in, four. In that order. Tomorrow's not going to be easy. No. Mother Nature is showing us right now just how insignificant we all are. She is putting on a show that's absolutely amazing. Morning routine. Everybody's got all their gear laid out, drying, packing. I'm actually looking for water. Looking for water. Well, there's a <laughs> lake right there. <laughs> Beauty.
Hé? Hey. Hey, that worked perfectly. A little wet. Or is that just the wind? Actually, we came down that valley and then around to Pinto Lake. Like, look at where we came from, man. That's like way over there. Like, that's impressive. And what we've climbed this morning is about uh, probably half of what we need to climb. That was a climb. That was a hard climb. This is, uh, we're not at the pass yet, it's just up there, but that's the highest point on the Great Divide Trail, so this pass is very high. Not a lot of water here, so we stopped and filtered a little bit of water. Usually I'm pretty confident drinking stream water like this because there's no animals above, but there's a red bloom on that snow, which is a uh, toxic algae. So uh, we'll just filter to be safe. Not sure why there's a backpack here. Look at all the sheep down there. Big whole flock of them. my man. What an absolutely stunning view. Unbelievable.